Jenny. So guys, we are now living in the scenario that we were warned about last year after all those wildfires. CDOT and all of its experts knew the burn scars would be vulnerable. They planned for it. You can see some of the examples of what is happening now. This is from Grand County. Just yesterday we took this video and the Grand County Sheriff took us up to where the mudslides were happening on Highway 125. They had numerous ones yesterday. They had more today. We are seeing these burn scars just can't hold up to some of these monsoon rains. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of acres burned after record breaking wildfires in Colorado last year, scarring not just the mountain slopes, but right along major roadways. When it goes to a flash flood warning, that means it's imminent. The first couple of these that went to flash flood warning for us, we had about five minutes before something ran. Five minutes isn't much to work with. So Mike Goolsby and his team in Region 3, which includes Glenwood Canyon, walked us through their plan. Flash flood watch. The CDOT team heads out, staging on the roadside. My folks actually go into action. They go stage at all the closure points, um, Rifle, Glenwood Springs, Newcastle, and, and then Dotsero on the east end of the canyon. Also, during a watch, the Glenwood Canyon wreck trail closes. Cyclists cleared out, rest areas closed. When the watch escalates to a flash flood warning. At that point, that's when we close um, the interstate down, uh, try to get the uh, folks out of, of off the um, interstate, you know, specifically in the canyon itself, and then try to clear the canyon. Once the canyon's cleared, then our folks sweep, meaning they drive from one end to the other to ensure that everybody's out. CDOT and their partners put rain gauges in the canyon after last year's fires. So now they can measure just how much it takes to trigger trouble. Unfortunately, that's where all our fires were, and this is something we're going to have to live with for at least the foreseeable future in the next seven to 10 days, I think is what the forecast said, that this, this higher moisture rate is probably going to cause us issues. So of course, as CDOT makes these decisions, they're asking for your patience as a driver. Remember monsoon rains, those usually happen in the afternoon. So if you absolutely have to drive through any of these trouble spots, maybe morning, that could be your best bet. Also, CDOT works with not just the National Weather Service, they have in-house meteorologists, and they told me today they can even get a personalized forecast, if you will, specific to Glenwood Canyon.